Imagine you are a student who is returning to college to finish your bachelor's degree and better your career prospects. You have successfully transferred credits from your previous institution and need some upper division courses to complete your degree. Based on your transfer situation, you expect to finish these courses and graduate within a year. But when you go to register for your courses, you see that only one of the courses you need is available to take that term. You reach out to your advisor who informs you that the remainder of your courses won't be offered for another year. If you were the student, would you wait or explore other universities? In a 2012 National Student Satisfaction Survey, respondents indicated that course availability was a top concern, especially for non-traditional students, or those over 25 years of age and those who are employed full-time. This is why designing an efficient and student-centered carousel is critical for student retention, timely graduation, and the reputation of your program. In this video, we will discuss the purpose of a course carousel and highlight some important considerations and best practices in designing a carousel. So what is a course carousel? A course carousel is a student-ready strategy to provide a streamlined and efficient path of course offerings to successful degree completion. The concept of carouseling allows multiple entry points on this path so students starting in different terms or transferring can be enrolled in the same courses while still earning credit. When a course carousel is well designed, students can get on the carousel at any term to take courses that earn credit towards their degree, and they only get off the carousel when they graduate. A more regularized course schedule like this has many benefits for the student and the program. It can boost student retention rates, improve course pass rates, increase the number of credits students take, and reduce the time to graduation. It can also accommodate the needs of students who commute, work, care for family members, and participate in extracurricular activities. By taking the time to build a more efficient carousel of courses, you can limit the frequency of course offerings, improve faculty teaching load and class sizes, and reduce students having to wait out terms till the courses they need become available. For LSU Online and Continuing Education, having visibility of the program path ahead of time enables our marketing, scheduling, and the design and development teams to ensure a timely launch of your program. And remember, you don't want your students to leave LSU and go to another institution. So making their path clear and streamlined from initial enrollment will help ensure that they persist until graduation. Before building your course carousel, there are four major areas of planning that you must consider carefully. Consider that the student demographic is changing from the typical 18-year-old, and assume that students will come in with some variety of transfer credits and build in upper division courses early on to accommodate their needs. Next, examine enrollment patterns over the past few years in similar programs for your college. What does enrollment in core courses look like from term to term? Remember that LSU Online allows for six starts per year with students taking two courses per term. This may mean that you need to increase the frequency of your required courses. Also, schedule frequency of courses based on your highest filling and underfilled courses. Next, consider some of the unnecessary barriers or bottlenecks that keep students from persisting. Reevaluate your curriculum and consider reducing prerequisites and lockstep sequencing so that students are able to take a wider range of core courses earlier on. Look at courses that have high failure and withdrawal rates and likely need to be repeated. Identify those bottlenecks and build buffers of lighter or more engaging courses to allow students time to repeat their requisite courses. And finally, Carousel to retain. Consider carouseling as a retention tool. By interspersing courses from the major with gen eds from the very beginning of the program, you can help students get a flavor of the discipline early on to keep them engaged. Avoid front-loading all the general education courses at the beginning of your program as this can be tedious for students. But remember, it's difficult to account for all possible scenarios to totally prevent student stopouts and dropouts. In unique instances, the advising staff of your program should be trained in the program specifics so that they are able to enroll students in the appropriate courses. As you can see, the course carousel building process can be time and labor intensive, and the considerations you make for each version of your carousel may evolve and change over time. Therefore, it is recommended that at the end of each year, you should always evaluate your course carousel based on the needs of your students, the current enrollment patterns, 
and the possible barriers and bottlenecks within your program so that your course carousel can be used to retain your students until graduation.